back here trying to do another project. Uh, today we're going to work on a little metal engraving. Here we have the Lady Stromboli trying out her favorite technique of electric etching. So we're going to try to put some monograms on a few of these knives for a friend of ours. We had to do six total and she's just cutting out some letters with uh, shipping labels that we had printed up and then just cut out the letters, slap them onto the knife and then she's going to take some salt water and soak a q-tip in it and then connect that q-tip to the negative side of a 9 volt battery the knife to the positive side and then just touch the wet end of the q-tip over the stencil and it's supposed to engrave or etch uh, into the metal of the knife and it looked really cool in a bunch of videos we saw but we really didn't have the kind of luck we wanted here and didn't turn out quite as nice as we would like uh, Put a lot of effort into it just to kind of scrap the project right after it started and here you see the final product nice but not quite as nice as we'd like so i step in and decide i'm going to hand engrave all of these with a dremel tool and some diamond bits we use the same technique of using a shipping label and just printing out the letters we wanted cutting them out individually but instead of cutting out the middles i just ran over them with the dremel tool and it was really tricky. I did a whole knife and thought I was great at it, peeled the stickers off, realized I never even made it all the way through the stickers. So I had to go all the way back. And uh, finally, after screwing up two or three knives, I figured out the technique. And there's, you just have to pay really close attention to when you're scraping through and you'll see the metal actually shining through and it actually sounds kind of different. Um, used a very, very small bit here and it was it was meticulous and it was very very frustrating to try to get a good product out of this especially having no experience but i just sketched the outside of each letter uh making sure to drag in the same direction for every single scratch and then peel the sticker off and then just make so many tiny straight little lines trying to keep them all at the same angle and basically coloring this in without going over the edges and then coming back and scraping around the outside of each letter to kind of clean it all up and like i said go the same direction or it looks like hot garbage um and here uh we we did something a little different put uh put our buddy's nickname actually on the knife and this was a little bit easier than the uh the more stylized letters but it was still a pain and here I am cutting around the outside of each letter, just kind of getting the, the general outline. It makes a very, very faint scratch when you finally get through the sticker, but enough for me to see what I was working with. And then just going around and making so many tiny little lines, just coloring it in stripe by stripe by stripe by stripe. Oh, it was maddening. But we ended up doing, I ended up doing six of these and they came out all right. I'm not. I'm not going to say that I'm not a little proud, but uh, we are definitely not engravers, and it is definitely not something I want to try again. Thank you for watching our video. Now enjoy this boy peasant bouncing for our amusement. Hey, thanks for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it, and maybe it even inspired some of you to try something new. If you liked it, or even if you didn't, hit that thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell button. So you don't miss out on future Star Bully.